We are now going to look at the lecture examples around repairs. So in example one, X Limited has a 31 December year end. During the current year of assessment, a freak lightning storm broke out in the area where X Limited's factory is located. The lightning struck the roof of the factory and caused a fire that burned down the roof of the factory. The company paid 200,000 rands to replace the entire roof of the factory and briefly discuss if this 200,000 rands will be deductible under section 11D. So, when we look at section 11D, first of all, you must be carrying on a trade. Then it will be expenditure actually incurred during the year of assessment. That is the case, we know that, on repairs. Now guys, here we have to do a little bit of discussion. The first thing is, for discussion type of question, you'll note that there's no definition in the act. You'll note that the courts have indicated that it is the replacement or restoration you can even say they're replacing a part of the whole. In this case, the whole factory roof was replaced, but not the entire factory. So it is a part of the whole asset. And it must be on property occupied for the purposes of trade. And we know from this question that this is a factory, so they are using it for trade. So it will be allowed as a deduction. Example two, Mr. X has a house in Cape Town that he lets out his holiday accommodation. At the end of the current year of assessment, Mr. X decided that he wished to improve the look of the house's roof. He replaced the entire roof at 200,000 rands. The old roof was not in a state of disrepair. Can he claim this a deduction under section 11D? No, because there's nothing broken. So you can't repair something that is 100% in working order. So this is a capital expense. Example 3, angry protesters complaining about the increase in the cost of train tickets, riot and burn down a train station. The rail company rebuilds the train station at a cost of 1 million rands. Can they claim that million rands as a section 11D repairs deduction? No, because this is not replacement of a part of the asset, this is a replacement of the entire asset. So that's capital in nature. Example 4, during a hailstorm, some of the windows of T-Limited's office block is knocked out. The rain damages the carpet to such an extent that it needs to be replaced. The company has two options. Replace the carpets with carpets that cost 60,000 rands and replace the carpets with tiles that cost 80,000 rands. What are the tax implications for the different options? So again, was it expenditure incurred during the year of assessment? Yes, it will be. Is it repairs? Well, the rain damaged the carpet, so there's something that is damaged, so that's why there's a repair. It is a replacement of a subsidiary part of the whole. What are the other principles we have? The other principles we have is that the material that is being replaced does not have to be the same as the original material. So that's one comment we'll make. Right? It does not create a new asset and it doesn't increase the income earning ability of the asset. So this is not an improvement. So therefore it will be allowed as a repair and the property was occupied for the purposes of trade. Okay, so if it was a simple five mark question, I just wanted to give you this as an example. This is what you would answer if it was a discussion question. You would write, it was an amount actually incurred in the year of assessment. It was a repair, it was a replacement of a part of an asset, not an entire asset. You will note the facts. It doesn't need to be the same material. It doesn't increase the income and ability. And the factory is occupied for the purposes of trade. Well, okay, it says... Office block, sorry guys, I should have just made this office block. Right, I will also just make sure it's there. Example 5, Mr. X purchased a house for a million rands. The house was not in a condition where it could be lived in. Um, and Mr. X spent 50,000 rands to get into a livable condition. He then let it out to tenants. Can he deduct these amounts spent? Now, it was the end of the assessment. It is a repair because... It's in need of a repair, but the problem is the property needs to be occupied for the purposes of trade, or you need to have income receivable, it needs to be capable of receiving income. Because this was not in a condition where it could be lived in, it therefore cannot qualify for this deduction, because you can repair something, but you must have income that is receivable on that. 